My name is Kobna Abaka. I'm from Elmina. We are in Ampenia right now. And uh, this is a land opportunity for my brothers and sisters over here and those in the diaspora. And uh, over here, from where this pillar is to that side, going this way, where there's another pillar also there, and that part, this part of the land belongs to me. I bought it. I have a document covering it, everything. Uh, so I want to give to my brothers and sisters who are coming from the diaspora. Yeah. Now, the ocean is just over there where the coconut tree is. Where the coconut tree is. Which, which coconut tree? Which oh, that is straight ahead of us. Right. Yeah, that's the coconut tree. Straight ahead. And right. there, there is a road. There is a road from this pool to where that pillar is. There's a driving lane from here all the way to that side. Oh. Yeah, but because it has not been paid. But on the map, it's a road up to that side. You mean from here? From wow, here, right? from this place, yeah. <laughs> wow. To that side, yeah. Now, on the, my left hand side, my right hand side, sorry, the building that you see there, there are a lot of Europeans who are now coming, Europeans, they are also repatriating. Now it has they been now given to the expats. They are expats. Okay, thank you. Uh, they are immigrants. They are immigrants. In invaders. Yes. <laughs> now that place, um, they also came, they need a place to stay and they want to do some business. So that flat is given to them. They have their family there and um, they all, uh, in the morning you see them with their vehicle taking their kids to school and they are doing some business over there. Mm -hmm. On the, this part, it's a forest reserve it's a forest reserve which my uncle is not ready and uh, his advisors are not ready to sell that tree. it's just a forest reserve um just to protect the ecology so that one is there so the, but the other ones over here there are people who have bought it some people have bought it and uh those ones that are available are uh, this one my one mine is available and then just a little bit on top of the hill some people would like to stay on top of the hill. From here all the way to on top of the hill, uh, it's all available uh, for anyone who wants to uh, get some land property. Question. The fact that there is a forest reserve there, are there any restrictions to the land? Any covenants in place that prevents you from doing certain things, like from building certain constructions? Oh, yeah. What, what happened? There is no restriction. Mm -hmm. But with the reserve, they, are, they have not given it to anybody, so no one can uh, uh, take uh, uh, what you call control of it. Mm -hmm. Meaning that no one can claim owner of it. It belongs to the chief and the people, and that's that. all. Yeah, no, I get that. My exactly. question was because the reserve is there, yeah. and this land is next to the reserve, yeah. are there any covenants that restrict any building, certain constructions on the land, or farming, certain things? Are, any oh, okay, all okay, like okay. In place for no, this land. Like no, place no, no. Like there is, there is nothing of that sort. There is nothing of that sort. Okay. The reason is that if you come and you want to build a four-story, five-story, just go ahead. It's, it's, it's the land is for you for ninety-nine years. So it's a lease. It's a lease okay. for ninety-nine years. Okay. So Sorry. Let me, let me put it this way. For me, it's ninety-nine years. Right. Okay. Someone coming, it is 55 years. So every 55 years, you renew the contract. Yeah, you re with me, I just go to my uncle and I have to renew the contract with my uncle for 99 years. Okay. So I stay here 99 years, I just go to him, and this and this, and then we renew the contract. And then that's all. Yeah. You don't, you don't, oh, you don't want to renew it. You just, I don't want to renew it. The then, uh, renew. yeah, if the person doesn't want to renew it, it's a matter of you also handing it over to someone or selling it to someone. So, does that mean chief. that the land is no longer yours if you don't want to renew it? Yeah, then, then uh, you have a vehicle, you bought a vehicle, you have to license it, you've licensed it. Now, you don't want to use the vehicle again. What do you do? You want to sell it, you just sell it and go. So if you it's the same way. So let's say I've put yeah. up a huge construction on yeah. the land, yeah. and after 55 years, yeah. I don't wish to renew that lease. Yeah. What happens to that construction that I have put up? Is that construction mine? It's yours. So what do I do with it if I don't want to renew the lease? 
if you don't you you want to sell it you can go and sell someone want to buy it. Mm -hmm. you put you put it out there someone want to buy it. you buy and then uh, you sell it to that person someone buy and then the person also continue the person continue with a, 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 a that's a new leadership mm -hmm. okay and then the person continue goes to the chief uh, you sell it to him he goes to the chief and have a contract okay. with the chief so this is my understanding what is on the topology of the land the surface of the land belongs yeah. To me as the buyer yes. but you as the leaseholder everything beneath that surface belongs to the leaseholder am i correct in that thinking if, if i understand you very clearly if there is a, a gold on the land okay if but there is, is beneath the surface I'm yes that is something like the yeah. construction yes so the construction is the buyer's Yes. Oh, the buyer owns that. Yes. But the leaseholder owns the land and everything else. Yeah, All the buyer reason. owns is the construction. Yeah, buyer owns everything. Mm -hmm. So what is the lease? Right. Right. Okay. Now, if I'm buying from you, yeah. Okay. Or you are buying from me. And you put up a land, a building here. Yeah. yeah. The building belongs to you. Right. The land belongs to you for a certain number of years that's it you got it you understand i, I understand now. uh -huh. yes, I understand. so that is how it is so, so after after that number of years you go to the chief and renew understood. yeah it's even the renew it's, it's it's not anything difficult you set the chief down sometimes they take something letter yeah, yeah. and then tell the <laughs> elders that now we are still <laughs> continuing with the agreement that we have I and then does it. So Thanks I think the yeah. other question is, what if you have a new chief who is not amenable to renewing right. yeah. the lease? Yeah. What is the what recourse do people have? Oh, so far as it has been documented, mm -hmm. okay, and the chief I have never heard of, and I have never seen, and I don't know whether I will hear that after uh, uh, the end of the lease, uh, ninety years, ninety nine years. The person says, I'm sorry, I don't want to renew it. Okay. They, they, that is how, you would definitely be renewed. Okay. Yeah. So it's an automatic I've never, renewal? Never, I've never heard of. Any, so I'm saying it's an automatic renewal? It's automatic renewal. So you don't have to make an application? Exactly. No, no, no. You don't, there's no, you don't uh, 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 write any application. You go to the chief. Mm -hmm. and you have a the chief are the custodians of the land. They are the custodians of the land, and he has given you this to live here, okay, for this number of years. So after that, you go to the chief again, after that number of years, you go to the chief. For example, if 99 years, and then you have every document, if you passed on, your children, your grandchildren are there, and they will go to the chief, and then say this and this and this. You, uh, my father, my grandfather bought this thing from you and it has expired or it's expiring what do we do so you tell you okay we want renewal okay let's go ahead and continue it's just an agreement between you and then the uh, chief perfect uh, club next can we get a contact information on some prices okay uh you can contact me on uh whatsapp number zero zero two three three uh two six nine zero eight three three one or c k a b a k a h at gmail.com. And what about that the, price, the prices now? Oh, the, the prices, uh, currently, uh, a plot is $4,000. And what comes, with, what comes with the plot and how big is the plot? 70 by 100. 70 by 100. That's a quarter of an acre. That's a quarter of an acre. Jordan has a question. Has a quarter, a quarter of, okay. Hey, um, so let's say like, you were to buy land and you were to like find oil on it or like build it up very, very nicely, right? And you get to the end of your lease, could the chief just be like, you know what, that's really nice now. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and take that back. Is that a thing that's, that's possible or allowed? Uh, uh, come on, I don't hear your question. Mm -hmm. So like if you <laughs> buy a plot of land, right? Yes. And the value of that land increases a lot yes. while you have it. Yes. Is it possible that at the end of your 99 years or 50 years or whichever it is, the chief could be like, that's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take that back from you now. It has never happened. <laughs> well, we're not talking about never happened. They won't yeah, know what, what I, what, what, what I, yeah. The reason why I said it has never happened is that when you go to Accra, there are some people who bought a land from a chief two, three hundred years ago, and their descendants are still living in that place. No matter whatever you put on it, and there are businesses. 
that uh, 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 they are running those businesses and their descendants are still there. So it's a matter of you going to the chief and then yeah, they, they will renew, definitely renew okay. for and, you. And the oil and, or the gold that they find on there? What about that? That's yeah, <laughs> for example, if you find a gold, if you find a gold, okay, if you find a gold on this land and you keep quiet and you dig your own gold, nobody knows that there is a gold on it. You understand me? But if you go and tell the chief, the chief is going to tell the president, and the president is going to build another place for you and sack you from there, and the, the country have to benefit from that. that that's how it works in America. Yeah, and that is how, that is how it works. So one goes. question, when you are doing the renewal of the land, is there a cost associated with that? Something little. There is a cost, but it's just something little. Okay. How much is that? Oh, when I say something little, uh, <laughs> there, uh, in Accra, I had, and then uh, I witnessed one also, and then uh, what they paid was uh, about uh, 500 cities okay. as a renewer. And this is a huge story burden that they just paid 500 cities with two bottles of schnapp. <laughs> 500 cities is about a little over $100. How many acres do you have? Oh, uh, no, I, over this place I don't have 10 acres. This place I have two and a half acres. Oh, yeah. yeah. This place I have plus. two and eight. The 10 acres is in closer to Accra. And they're all together? The yeah, they're all acres. together. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, my question is as well, with regards to this land here. Um, this is the main road coming in yes. to the land. Yeah. Um, in terms of the infrastructure, like, like light and water yeah. and everything like that, is that the landowner responsibility to put in or the person who purchased the land? Thank you so much. What happened is that it's between the government and the one who purchased the land. Mm. Right. Yeah, the chief have nothing else to do. Yeah. Now, look at us. Behind you, mm -hmm. that is the electricity. Yeah. So meaning that there is light here already. Okay. Now, there is also water from that town passes through this place to the people over here. So there is water. If okay. you come and you put up your house and you need water, you go to the government agency who is in charge of water. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ghana Water and Sewage. That's what we call the Ghana Water and Sewage Corporation. You go to them, you tell them this and this, and they tell you to write an application. Yeah. And then they'll come, measure from here to your, uh, your land, how many feet, how many that, and then they will bring you the pipes and this and that and tell you the cost. You pay for it, and they will connect for you. Is that metered water? Or Both the water, the water, the water, and the the water, and then the meter. The water like this, every month you have to pay uh, what do you call it? water bill. Okay. Every month, what is is it's not prepaid, it's postpaid. The electricity, if you want a prepaid, they will give you a prepaid. If you want a postpaid, they will give you a postpaid. Yeah, they will come and tap from here to your house. And then when they tap to your house, the wire government subsidize. Okay. So they will tell you the subsidy is 10% or 20%. The rest of it you have to pay. Okay. And you pay for it. What is this area known for in terms of agriculture? Or... Oh, the land is very good for uh, planting uh, watermelon, ginger, um, um, Granite, peanuts, <laughs> and a whole lot, a whole lot. Yes, salsa, you can just plant it. The land is very, very fertile. Very fertile. The land is, now, just beyond, even the inside the, uh, there are some people who are planted watermelon. And then tomatoes, all the vegetables, you can just, you can just plant them. The My land is very Go ahead. You mentioned. <laughs> am I? Is it a monopoly? No? no, not yet. <laughs> okay, my final question is this. You've mentioned that it's $4,000 for yeah. a quarter of an acre. Yeah. Let's say somebody wants the entire two and a half acres, for instance. <laughs> Would it be the same 4K for each uh, quarter plot? Yes. Okay, so you just multiply that by, exactly. um, by 12 then? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So if, if it is 20. It depends sometimes on agreement with that person mm -hmm. and then the relationship with that person. So there's room for negotiation? There's a room for negotiation. Okay. There's a room for negotiation. Okay. So that is what it depends on your relationship with whoever. Thanks. That's it. Okay. okay. So thank you so much. And uh, okay, one more question. Um, is it safe to plant 
set for just commercial or residential or both? Good question. For both. Okay. Yeah. One, one thing is that uh, in Ghana, when you buy a land, the land is for you. If you want it, you want to use it for uh, commercial purposes, like build estates and then rent it, that is you. Uh, there are uh, some businesses you cannot do within a certain area. One, maybe you want to sell LPG gas and the residential area, rather they do allow you to sell LPG gas in the residential area. It goes outskirts of the town. Yeah, in case of any explosion, it goes there. So that will not kill the people. Yeah. So there are some businesses will not be allowed uh, to set up that business in the community. But the outskirts of the town, yes, it's allowed. I have a question. I have a question. How, what's the approximate length of time that it takes to negotiate a contract between buyer and seller? For example, if I have my money ready and I wanted to get the land, what's the okay. estimated okay. average? Thank you so much. It, the, uh, everything is money. So if you have the money ready now, 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 yes. I'll just call the, uh, uh, I'll let them go. Me and you will stay here. <laughs> we'll call the <laughs> Soviet to come and measure your part for you. Okay. And then we start the documentation. So it depends on the agreement between yourself and the, the owner of it. Some will say, okay, I would like to pay bits and pieces in four uh, 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 terms, in three terms, in two terms. Then you just agreed and then that's how it takes place. Okay, thank you so much. Once again, my name is Kovna Bakan. And uh, you can get me on my email, ckabakah at gmail.com or my WhatsApp number 026 Thank you. Excellent.